Howdy, my name is Cloudy over at the gym. Uh, Lil Marble Scam Tama G for $11,000 from the Buckingham Show. Have you heard I miss of this kid? G, man. My name is Matthew DeLuca. I go to the collegiate school. He's been I know who Lil Mabu is, man. so. I can never snitch. That's on my kid. And he's currently one of the biggest drill rappers on earth who goes by the name hey, Lil, Lil Mabu. Mabu. Hard, Unfortunately, dude. this rich private hard, school dude. K Flock copycat scammed one of my best friends, Tommy G, for $11,070. Little Pockets man. Mabu, you K owe me $11,070. The guy is straight up. Bro. My speech been crazy today, bro. I need to stop eating these uh these candies, bro. It's messing up my a speech. A liar and a thief. But before we get into the exact details of how this guy scammed Tommy G, I want to give you the backstory of this spineless little rat. Sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and enjoy oh, the history the lesson. Lil rat. Babu, real name Matthew DeLuca, grew up in a five-bedroom, five-bath, 3,327 square foot condo in one of the Damn. richest areas of New York City. In his free time, he would escape to the Hamptons, where he would stay in his parents' 6,182 square foot mansion. The combined value of the properties is about $12 million. So they, bro, so they, he had mansions as a kid, bro, so what, what made him go to the streets? And as it turns out, his father, Peter DeLuca, is just as big of a scamming douchebag as he is. In 1987, yeah. Lil Mabu's father married a woman named Jane, who he had a 13-month-old child with. One day she was holding the child when out of nowhere, her townhome collapsed, crushing Jane and killing her child in her arms. In the hospital, she got a bunch of blood transfusions that ended up giving her hepatitis, and she had to undergo 13 surgeries to repair her broken body. She eventually received a Yo. $4 million settlement for her losses and injuries during the collapse of her home. And while all this was going on, Lil Mabu's father yeah. was hard at work, doing what the DeLucas do. Jane's husband, Peter, was manipulating her finances in a scheme to divorce her and leave her in physical, emotional, and financial ruin. He sued her Wait. for the finances in a was hard at work doing what the DeLucas do. Jane's husband Peter was manipulating her finances in a scheme to divorce her and leave her in physical, emotional, and financial ruin. He sued her for Damn, divorce so in 1996 and she was bullied into a settlement in 1998 that left her with the house and $1 million, with her husband holding on to the rest of the approximately $10 million estate. Obviously, she it's only got a fucked up situation, but it makes you wonder what kind of connections Lil Mabu's father has to pull off such a scheme. Now, we all know that yeah. Mabu's dad is a funeral director that from time to time gets in fist fights at his funeral home with people that are mourning bro, but get out. Mabu. bro nah mabu pops bro had to be in, in the streets before he got to where he at bro because to have a fight at a funeral home bro is crazy that shit is crazy. He's also a lawyer. Pretty wild My stuff right there, but that's enough about his dad. As I said before, Lil Mabu is rich, and he just finished his senior year at the Collegiate School, which is a 400-year-old Manhattan private school that costs $60,000 a year. And nowadays, he's a freshman in college, so scamming YouTubers for over $10,000. And you might be wondering, how did this all so go? Made him turn well, into let's get life. into it. On April 3rd, Lil Mabu contacted Tommy G on Instagram about his newly released song, Big Dog Shit, saying... If you want to make the big dog shit your theme song on YouTube, I can whitelist your channel to monetize on it. To which Tommy responds, ooh, that would be badass. Mabu answers back, bet, I got you. And Tommy goes ahead with their agreement. Hey, Lil Mabu, bro, whitelist my channel, bro. <laughs> what you mean? You could whitelist? What the hell is that, bro? I ain't never heard of Tommy decided shit. to put that song in a video that he knew That's... would be one of his biggest. Whitelist Black, that's crazy, bro. A video where he risked his life called The Most Wanted Drivers of New York. I say this just to emphasize that Tommy was doing Mabu a favor here. And at first, everything was cool. Tommy's video got about 2 million views in the first day and there was no copyright claims. But on the second day, Tommy gets a copyright claim from none other than Lil Mabu and Lil RT. YouTube that's Music Premium crazy, lets you listen bro. uninterrupted, Play. even when your screen's off or you're using other apps. Now, listening is... Smooth like Give you for the song Big Dog Shit that he used in the beginning of the video. This means all Bro, the ad revenue you. in the 30 minute plus video would go to Little Mabu just for the 15 seconds of music he put in the beginning of the video. YouTube's copyright system is completely broken and fucked up, but that's not why we're here. Tommy reached out to the Little Mabu and hopped on a phone call with him where he said that he was going to get his label Empire to take care of it immediately, and if worse comes to worse, he would reimburse him out of pocket. Oh no, I got you on the bread. Somehow he has like this new accent that he's picked up since private school. Some just call me misunderstood. 
understood. But some time passes and it still isn't clear that Lil Mabu has handled the copyright claim, so Tommy G reaches out with this message. Mabu, just a heads up, at the moment it's still your song that's getting claimed. Does RT have a piece of the song? I put your song in on good faith, so I'm looking for your help in getting this resolved. I'm an independent that works my ass off, so there's no way a label is going to get eight to $10,000 today for 15 seconds of a song in a 30 minute video. Please keep me posted. Mabu then responds with a screenshot of a text exchange from his manager saying, okay, so Create is publishing rights on the song over Lil RT. Jimmy reached out and told them we whitelisted it at the direction of Mabu and that they need to drop their claim ASAP, but are waiting to hear back at the moment. Tommy replied, can you send me a text when it's official slash done? To which Lil Mabu did not respond. The next day, Tommy said, just a heads up, still not cleared. Tommy, who is obviously fed up that some nerd is stealing his money on one of his biggest videos ever, manually removes the song from his video using YouTube's trim function, essentially restoring its monetization. He then reaches mm, out to Lil Mabu's manager saying, I just cut it from the video. I'm not confident that CMG will act on it quickly. I did the math and it's already cost me $11,070. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. And still, Tommy got no response. This is a chart of Tommy's revenue on YouTube, showing the first day he was making money and the second day he made literally $0. And then after that, on the third day, he removed the song and he was back to making money. But the money from the second day all went to Little Mabu and Little RT. At this point, Tommy wants That's to be crazy, reimbursed bro. from that second day of revenue that I'll was stolen hot, by Little Mabu. Like, bro, we gotta hop in the ring. You too, RT. You know what I'm saying? I got a little, I got a little bro for you too. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we got a scrap, bro. And his bullshit copyright claim. So crazy. five days later, Tommy reaches out to Little Mabu's manager again saying, what are our options at this point for recouping what's been lost? Are we able to bill CMG or Empire for a marketing expense? The manager responds. Empire said it's out their hands. They sent an email to them to resolve this matter, but he said nah, if any action you, is to be taken, it needs to go towards CMG. He said they already have cases that they are dealing with on the same matter. Saturday, April 10th. Yeah, so he going to tell him, bro, we already dealing with other cases, bro. You're going to have to wait a couple of decades, bro, for, me, for us to get to you, bro, unless you just want to forget about it. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. 20th, Tommy G reaches out to run play with everybody at CMG, bro. I put your song in the video run it in good up, faith because up. you assured yeah, me yeah. it would be cleared. 11 grand might not be a lot of money to you, but it's a lot of money to me. When I raised this concern with you, you delegated me to your manager and did not even find it important enough to respond to me. Is this how you do business? Hours later at 2.30 in the morning, Little Mabu responded, Almost got kicked out of school this week, LOL. They got me on RICO of conduct violations. No, my team has been working on trying to find a solution for this. Planned on touching bases with you after weekend and 11k is money to me also the smug little prick isn't even saying sorry That's he's having this fake little fairy tale rico of conduct bro, violations in his dorm give room. tommy this his money back bro like a gangster over text message what the hell oh my god no way yeah, yeah. Tommy responds, I hear you, amigo. That's serious shit. I understand life gets busy. I just wanted to make sure this issue has your attention. Let's touch base this week. Tommy waited four days and still no response. So we texted him again. Mabu, I know you have good intentions and the situation was an accident. How about hey, this? Low we meet key, in the middle Tommy of the G, bro, you being a little too nice, bro. You better you better show your chest. You know what I'm saying? You better, hey, little Nick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't say that word, though. You feel me? But you got to, bro, you know what I'm saying? You got to put your foot down, bro, because he playing with you, bro. That's your bread, bro. Hey, we built you know Empire saying? slash you for marketing. Tommy waits three more days. Still no response. So Tommy sends another message. This will be my final text to you about this. The ball is in your court to take action in a way you see fitting to your ethics. Tommy so got how are you no going, response. How are you going to show money so as of recording this, it has been about an entire month since Lil Mabu robbed Tommy G of eleven thousand seventy dollars. Damn, a whole month. He has done nothing to rectify the situation and seems perfectly content screwing over a friend that is very close to me. And the reason I'm making this video. Illegal fentanyl has made its hey, way. Hey, buddy, man, man, you a good friend. Man. It only takes the tiniest Speaking amount to cause Tommy a fatal overdose. Speaking of Tommy G, bro, Tommy G very humble. Fraction of a raindrop. Man. Trying to keep the video peace. is because Tommy does not deserve to be robbed like this. Lil Mabu is a disingenuous fraud, and so much of his image is built up off being an independent white kid that did it all himself. And frankly, as annoying as the situation is, it's hilarious how much of a liar Matthew really is. Last month in his DJ Academics interview, Lil Mabu was asked if he was signed, to which he replied this. So when you put out music, um, bro, he entity? had a interview, out? bro. Oh, I gotta watch, watch this. But is the, you're not like Universal. Why'd you? I didn't know he, bro. Yeah, I didn't know he. Matthew I gotta watch that. Bro. Himself. And frankly, as annoying as the situation is, it's hilarious how much of a liar Matthew really is. Last month in his DJ Academics interview, Little Mabu was asked if he was signed, to which he replied this. So when you put out music, um, what's the entity that it comes out through? Young Genius Academy. But 
it's not, you're not like universal. Why is it? No. You're not. You're on universal. No, right? no, no, no. You're independent. I'm independent. I'm not really? under a label system, no. And in one of his most popular songs, Mathematical Disrespect, he says this. Shout out my label. That's me. I own 100% of my cuts. Bitch, nobody taking a fee. And in a sit-down video he posted to his own YouTube channel, he said this. I don't have a manager. I'm not signed to a label. And it's really funny he's lying like that because he's yeah, very clearly he signed saying, to a distribution deal with Empire. Yeah, we just saw the text messages. He just said that. Even to have his, uh, his manager and stuff handle it, CMG and all him, unless he just pushed... Well, that's the same thing, right? If he pushed his song through the label to, to you know what I'm saying, et cetera, et cetera. Bro, you have a label and a manager, bro. Fire. And not only does he have a manager, but he has a team of over 14 people that he had to talk to when this whole copyright 14? claim situation all went down. Then he sent me a screenshot of a group chat called Empire with 14 people. That doesn't seem very independent to me. But surprisingly, this scamming situation isn't Tommy G or oh, Tommy G made a video time interacting with Lil Mabo. I In August of 2021, Lil Mabo was trying to blow up on the internet and he was having his Instagram meme page friends reach out to a bunch of YouTubers trying to pay them $80 to put his song, King of the World, in their videos i ended up saying bro, no because i thought the song was absolutely I'm here thinking like bro what the thumbnail of this video gonna be <laughs> i'm sitting here thinking about right now like damn because I don't, I don't know if there's any videos of tommy g and Lil mabu together absolutely shit but tommy ended up putting the song in one of his videos we did together called hella sus rapping in the hood part seven here you can see way back in 2021 tommy g linking a Lil mabu song in his description i'm bringing this up because it's a pretty good symbolization of how mabu got to the top of the rap game he's a rich kid who bought his way into the industry with his dad's money and an elementary understanding of marketing he's not that original he's not some genius he's literally six nine with a millionaire daddy don't get swayed. Yeah. Stay ten toes and focus, and just be calculated. Be Is that calculated right there? And be intentional with everything you do. I want to ask you this, Matthew Peter DeLuca. Is scamming Tommy G someone bro who just, did you? A I ain't gonna lie, bro. Just call you out by your full government name, Mabu. Get in the ring, bro. Aiden Ross, bro, set it up. Get Buckingham, Tommy G, Lil Mabu, Lil RT in the ring, bro. Yes, Lil RT. Is getting hands too, bro. I don't care, bro. Cause if bro, if he was re bro, he gotta run the fade too, bro. <laughs> Everybody run the fade. I don't care. Favor staying ten toes down by your standards. Not to mention you personally promised Tommy you reimburse him out of pocket yeah, that's, if anything that's went crazy, wrong bro. in the copyright that's department. Look at how Lil Mabu scoffs at the idea of getting paid fifteen thousand dollars for my a single show. Like that, what do you think for, for a show these days? Because, fifteen thousand. Hmm? Fifteen. Bro, what? Oh, okay, okay. Now to give the low ball to kind of get where you're at with it. Clearly, this money that he outright stole from Tommy means nothing to him. But I know for a fact it does mean something to Tommy. So I say we try to get it back to him. And here's the thing. Tommy isn't going to pocket the money himself. He's going to use all the proceeds of this go right back he created this to video. fund youth wrestling in his hometown oh, of Milwaukee. Oh. So if you want to support oh, Tommy's GoFundMe, you can find the link in the description. I just wanted to close this presentation with some conclusions and takeaways we can't let this little fucking dork screw over one of the good guys of youtube and to me this whole situation <laughs> is not only indicative of youtube's broken copyright system hey but let's have a real friend though some bro people can be that get rich off social media thank you all for watching and fuck little mabu oh <laughs> so, bro, okay. if you don't have the money mabu nah bro that's crazy buckingham is standing no business bro <laughs> Bro, hey, Tommy G, bro, you got to give Buckingham a big hug, bro, when you see him. You know what I'm saying? Because bro's, bro's standing on business for you, bro. Ten toes, bro, and I respect it. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, what y'all think, bro? Y'all think Lil Mabu Cole for scamming Tommy G? Or... Nah, bro, it's cold he did that. I'm going to be real.